In this video, we're going to continue investigating the acidity and basicity of salt solutions, starting off with a practice problem involving an aniline salt. So aniline is an amine that's used to manufacture dyes, and it's isolated as the salt aniline chloride. Now this consists of a positively charged aniline cation, along with the chloride anion. We're familiar with chloride, Cl-, which implies that the aniline cation has to have a charge of positive 1. Now, aniline is a weak base, hydrochloric acid a strong acid, and so proton transfer from HCl to aniline is going to be heavily favored, and the Cl minus anion is going to be pretty much inert. And so the active ion here, the ion that is doing the business, is the anilinium cation. This is a weakly acidic cation, and it's together with the negligibly basic, we would say, chloride anion. So we can ignore chloride entirely, it's just a spectator, and think about the reaction of this cation with water to rationalize and calculate the pH of this solution. Now before we get into any of this, writing this chemical equation and thinking about what's going to happen, we can immediately make a conclusion about where the pH should lie in terms of a range. It should absolutely be less than 7. Let's go ahead and write that because we're going to return to that sanity check at the end of the problem. Because this cation is reacting with water to produce hydronium ion, the final pH should be less than 7. The next thing we need is Ka for the anilinium cation, and this could be found a couple of different ways. For example, if we only had Kb for the conjugate base aniline, we could calculate Ka as Kw divided by Kb for aniline. And when you set about doing this, we have in the numerator 1 times 10 to the negative 14th power, the typical value for Kw, and in the denominator we have Kb for aniline, which turns out to be 4.3 times 10 to the negative 10th power, and we would look these values up to find them, of course, and this leads to a Ka value of 2.3 times 10 to the negative 5th power. So we're going to need this value when we eventually solve for x and calculate the pH, and so it's nice to have it handy. And actually, just to save a little bit of space, I'm going to erase this calculation. An alternative route to this value, of course, could be just to look it up. If we have a table of pKa's handy that happens to have the Ka or even the pKa of anilinium within it, then we can just look up the Ka value directly. Depends on the data source that we have in front of us, right? All right, where are we going from here? Well, now we can look at the concentration information that's built into the problem. We've got a 0.233 molar solution of aniline chloride. And so we can now start thinking about an ice table type situation, right? And I'm actually going to build out our ice table just underneath the reaction here. We have water, which we can completely ignore on the reactant side there. And we have initial change and equilibrium lines that we're going to worry about here. Our initial concentration of the aniline chloride was 0 0.233 moles per liter, and so we can think of this as the initial or total concentration on that eye line of the ice table. Water can be ignored completely. We've got the reaction arrow. I'm just going to draw a dotted line here to separate the reactants from the products. And then we're going to assume zero conjugate base initially, we essentially haven't allowed the cation to react with water just yet. And we're also going to assume, assume zero initial hydronium. And this is a good assumption because our initial concentration of acid here is way, way higher than 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter. So the reaction is going to go forward. So we'll have a plus x here, plus x here, and a minus x here. Now we can assume again because the Ka value is quite small that 0.233 minus x is pretty much the same as 0 0.233. So we'll put 0 0.233 here on the equilibrium line, x and x. And now we can return to our Ka uh, here at the bottom and recall that this is equal to the equilibrium expression or reaction quotient at equilibrium for this reaction, and that's going to be the conjugate base, and I'm just going to abbreviate that as, uh, as B here. Um, and just to show that up above, do a little B above that guy. This is just the concentration of B. 
times the concentration of hydronium ion at equilibrium divided by the concentration of the acid HB plus, where we're thinking of the reactant acid over here as HB plus. And now we can plug in those values that we got from the ice table, right? We've got an x squared in the numerator. We've got a 0 0.233 in the denominator. And now we can solve for x. And in solving for x, we arrive at x is equal to 0 0.0023 mole. And let's just remind ourselves, this is the hydronium ion concentration at equilibrium right here. So the pH, now we can calculate directly as the negative base 10 logarithm of x, or the H3O plus concentration. And when we plug in those numbers, we arrive at a final pH of 2.64. So sure enough, this value is less than 7. We would absolutely expect that based on the fact that this is an acidic salt. It's a negligibly weak basic anion together with a weakly acidic cation. And 2.64 feels about right given the concentration that's relatively high, honestly, the anilinium cation at 0.233 moles per liter.